Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Captain Creativity. I am your host, David Merrill. Well, if you're anything like me, you probably have tons of these filament rolls all over your classroom, maker space, or your home office. And regardless whether you're a teacher or a maker or, or a 3D printing enthusiast, whatever, I could tell you that the biggest problem is when you have a bunch of these rolls, you always want them ready to go and you wanna keep them dry and you wanna store them and also try to store them in a cosmetically appealing way. Well, today we're gonna to show you just how to do that with a new product from Sun Lu called the Philodryer S4. We're gonna be unboxing and setting it up and I'm gonna give you my opinion on it right after this. Welcome to the show that sets your mind free. Tech and gadgets, 3D surprise. All right, so here we are with the Philodryer S4. Let's unbox it. If only all my unboxings were this simple. That's it, okay. That was pretty easy. So what we can see over here is we have two compartments up here and here and you can unlatch them by pulling over here and over here. As you can see, two go in here, two go in here. All the stuff that came with it comes over here. And what you're gonna be able to see in here is that they have rollers on the inside and a place for you to actually put in some desiccant uh, packets in there. Basically, if you don't wanna keep this thing on all the time, you could just leave it offline and just put in some desiccant packets in there. With that being said, let's see what else we have. Okay, so we have some filament tubes, a power cable, some plugs. If you're not using something, you can actually plug up these holes. So they give you some plugs over here and then you have your manual. That's it. Basically, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your power adapter, you're gonna plug this right in on the back. They have a nice on and off switch right over here. So just keep it off for the time being. And then what we're gonna do over here is we are going to actually start sliding in some of these tubes. So you can cut these tubes to the length that you feel is necessary. They give you about, they should be giving you about, no, they give you two very, very long tubes. And so if you wanna do all four, you could either cut them in half or buy some more. So what I'm gonna do right now is, I'm just gonna show you an example. There we go, I'm gonna cut this. And all we're gonna do is slide it right through there. And if you could see over here, you'll notice that it is going right in and then you would put your filament right into that tube. So for example, let's say I took this filament over here. So I'm gonna take this filament and one of the things I'm gonna now do is I'm gonna take that purple and slide it right on in. Okay, and then it will come out the other side and you're ready now to take this and to put it wherever you like. So if you're anything like me, you probably have a bunch of filaments stacked up in your cubbies or on your shelves. And something like a dryer is really ideal. And I use dryers, of course, but the problem with my dryers is that they only hold about one or two uh, rolls of filament at the same time. And honestly, I would much rather have something that can hold multiple filaments and then kind of come down to my printer or have it on the side of my printer. Now in my space, we also have some AMS units. And so this has always been uh, fantastic in that if you have a bamboo P1P, the AMS sitting on top really looks great. You could put in four filaments in there 
and then you could set it and forget it and it'll come down to the P1P. But what if you are not using a, P, a Bamboo Labs? What if you're using any of the other uh, types of companies that do not offer an AMS solution? Or what if you don't want an AMS solution? So if you don't have an AMS solution, you're likely going to see something like this, where you have a bunch of filament uh, rolls on top. And then you might have a dryer box on the side, but it only holds one or two filament rolls at, at a time. So obviously one of the nice benefits of having the Sun Lu is that you could actually put four filaments in and then have them feed down to your printer, uh, whatever the printer may be, or put it on the side. And here you can see the Sun Lu fully in action. Um, it has these nice little LED lights that make it look super futuristic and cool. And as you can see, it is pull pulling from the dryer box into the Cobra 2 right now, and I'm doing a bend sheet just to make sure that it's not snagging up along the way. Um, and if we take a look on the inside of the box, you know, one of the things that you could see here is, is that you could see that the tube con comes in, it, fit, it goes right through that uh, filament tube, and it gets pulled and sucked in to the printer as it goes. Settings on here are pretty intuitive and pretty easy to set. Here's your mode. And if you want to set anything or change anything, you just press set and you move over to where you want to change the value. So for example, if I wanted to change from PLA to PC to PA to ABS, I could just cycle through these different options right over here and you're all said and done. When you're finished, just leave it alone and it will basically sit there and execute your settings. Okay, the Benchy came out great. So the filler dry S4 fed it to the Cobra 2 Max, no problem. So pros and cons, what do I like about it? Well, the first pro is it looks amazing. The second pro is that it holds four filaments with one AC unit, which is great. And then three on more of a functionality perspective, I love the fact that when the filament gets to dry, it automatically kicks up. And I think this is very, very important because there are a lot of filament dryer boxes out there that just do the timer. You can dry your filament, but then that's it. So if you wanna do it again, you can actively do it again. What I like about this filament dryer is that it will detect whether the humidity gets too high. And then once it gets to about 50% humidity, it right away kicks in and dries down your filament. So I really like the fact that it does that. It's really a cool thing to have. The con on this is the price. It's $159.95. I feel it's a little bit on the expensive side. I mean, I jumped on this when it was $80 and that was a Kickstarter deal. And I think certainly if it was at $80 or $100, I think it would be a no brainer. But at 160, considering that we now have full-blown AMS units that are getting close to that $200 price, or as we see from any Cubic or Creality, they're coming out with ones. Now again, of course, those AMS units are not going to work for you unless you have a Creality or an any Cubic or a Bamboo Labs. And let's be honest, they are not supporting every single printer out there, so it has to support it. But the AMS themselves are not active drying units, right? So when you're not running the printer or when you're not using that roll of filament, you're really relying on the desiccant packets that are in there to do the drying. But unlike the Sun Lu, the Sun Lu uh, filler dryer will actually sense the humidity and know when it's getting low and always keep it ready to go. Because when you're ready to print, you're not interested in waiting six hours. And do dryers really help? Absolutely. When it comes especially to TPU, that and nylon, uh, dryers are critical. PLA certainly has more give and you can get away uh, with a lot more with PLA. But keep in mind when PLA is left out, especially after just even a couple of days, it gets brittle and it will break. And then you're gonna get clogs and then you have to remove it. And it's just a big pain. So if you're looking for a filament dryer and you want that automatic capability built into it and you want it to be able to handle multi, multiple rolls of filament, the S4 by uh, Sun Lu is the way to go.
and I highly recommend the product. I think it's great, I like it a lot, and I'm gonna be using it in my classroom. Anyway, thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe.